and kind of like the way the guys have kind of responded coming off a loss? Uh, but we'll see. Uh, you know, we'll see tomorrow night. The, uh, you know, the guys are pretty good in practice. Um, you know, it was like uh, our first chance to respond from some adversity. We didn't respond real well to the kind of the in-game adversity. So now we got a chance after a couple of days of preparing for like you know a, a real system team with that that Princeton style. You know, and one of the more prolific guards that we'll see this year. Uh, so uh, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. Uh, it'll be an interesting challenge for us. Uh, you know, just to, to respond. I think I like Morgan. Do you, do you have? I mean, you haven't developed a designated stopper yet. But who, who are some of your better defensive players? We're, we're uh, played. Uh, well, we, we didn't play much defense on Friday. Uh, yeah, but we've had. We haven't had probably one standout defender. I think we've we've kind of uh, we were able to be good the first couple of games, um, you know, by having like uh, you know good team concepts. I think uh, you know we we've got different things from different players like Altrude's ball pressure. Um, you know, uh, you know Christian's guarded well like off the ball. You know Jalen's you know guarded the dribble well like so. But I don't, you know, Terrence Smith's probably our best all-around defensive guard. So I'd imagine like he'll see most of that matchup uh, when he's in there. But across the board, they're really mobile. Uh, you know, similar to kind of those first couple of opponents, uh, or really similar to Moorhead in the sense that they'll have five guys on the court that could play three-point line and in uh, to the front of the rim. So uh, you know, our, our bigs are going to be stressed uh, as much as our guards will. I mean, as many positives as Thursday had. You know, Friday was maybe a little step back in some ways. Do, do you have a better idea where the team is right now after the, like, these two games, or still searching for some things? Oh, I think it's still like, um, like this is my first time coaching this team, coaching these players, uh, seeing how they respond to, you know, to see how they respond to failure. You know, bad stretches in games. You know, does a guy need, you know, foot up his butt? Does he need a pat on the back? You know, it's like trying to understand their psyche, trying to understand like how this team needs to play, kind of, especially at the offensive end. Like we're, we're you know, that's a, that's a work in progress in terms of when we get stuck in the half court. You know, like well, what types of actions does Jalen like? What types of, you know, does he like, you know, wing clearouts? Does he like step up screens? You know, like still trying to figure out like that execution part, learning the players. Uh, we're going to play it to where we're going to play it defensively. But the offensive end, I think, was some, somewhere we're going to be like searching for a while. You have, uh, I think, your average like 15 turnovers. Do you attribute to guys forcing things? How do, what do you attribute that to? Yeah, we over dribbled. Um, you know, I think like we, 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 we over dribbled, uh, particularly in the Iowa game. You know, the, the Syracuse game, I think we just had some guys that were in just kind of some weird spots with the ball. You know, the, the number, a good number of those, I think, was some forward turnovers. Uh, but just in general, I think the, the ball stuck a lot versus Iowa. We over dribbled, and um, and it would just, you know, like there was some low, there was some like high risk, low reward passes that that were turnovers that you just you, 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 you can't try to go certain places with the ball as a guard. So we, we talked a lot about just respecting the possession a lot more. I guess you or, have or, or, or else I'm gonna if if they don't. If we keep turning the ball over like this, we will not be a running team. We will be a rock fight team that will control every possession and we'll run a set every time down court if we don't get more responsible with the ball. Against these next couple teams, obviously you have your reports and you know what they want to do, but is it almost more about you guys? Well, I think, um, you know, obviously we have, uh, you know, you got to respect you know, all of your opponents. Obviously you go in and, you know, you, 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 you handle your scouting the same exact way. Uh, otherwise, I think you set your team up for a letdown. So all of our preparation is the same. Yeah, but for me, I, I want to see. Uh, I just, I just want to see a, a fiery team tomorrow. You know, we're just, we're going to make mistakes. We're going to, you know, we're going to struggle at certain points with some different things that we're just not not real good at right now. But I just uh, we, we were flat on Friday. Um, you can attribute it to whatever you want to. You spend two days away. You say to yourself. You know, you, you play the rivalry game on Thursday night, the highest of highs. 
And then now on Friday night, I wasn't able to get that edge back. You know, I wasn't able to frame the game to get them excited again. So I want to see that fire that we played the first three games with and the intensity. That's that's number one, even more so than how we got a flare screen. Can this team be a rock fight team? It's going to be hard. It's a hard style. I mean, I, I'm, they'll give me no choice if, if we're going to turn the ball over. Um, you know, because we, we, we're not... Um, we're not prolific enough to get away with that. So, um, yeah, I mean, we, we could. I mean, we, we, I guess we could. It's not our best style play. But if we don't learn to respect the ball more, you know, like then you give your guards less freedom and you try to control the game more. And, and I did not have to do that the last couple of years at Rhode Island because we had older, mature guards that we were a high assist, low turnover team. So we've been a fairly high assist team. It's just... Um, just some like mindless turnovers that, that can't go on. Typically, an energy guy, the guy at the bench is kind of a guard. Are you surprised Eric's been able to bring some energy to the team when he gets in the last couple times? Yeah, I mean, uh, Eric's kind of got like a funny personality. You know, he uh, he's real quiet and he gives you kind of, I don't know what he gives you guys, but he gives me a lot of short answers. But then on game nights, there's a little flip that's, uh, you know, uh, switch. Switch that flips. <laughs> no, that was a tongue twister. And, uh, but he gets juiced up, and like uh, you know, on, on game night something happens there where he has a different intensity and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, I, I did. Did we see it coming to the level at the Garden? Probably not. But he's flashed. Uh, you know, moments like now. And for him, it's like, can you now add defensive rebounding and defense to giving us that type of offense? If he does, now we've really found something. If he's just going to be an offensive guy for us, then you know it'll continue to be kind of a rotational thing. Is he going to start tomorrow, or does that really matter? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's like an overrated thing. Like Terrence Smith, you know, Terrence Smith's third on the team in minutes and third in big shot attempts, and he comes off the bench. So I just think, uh, you know, right now we probably have, I'd say, seven guys that are kind of getting starter minutes with Eric and Terrence off the bench, and then the five guys that start. So. Um, you know, he's if he continues to you know play at the level he's playing at, and, and then picks up those other areas, like anything that starts with defensive with Eric. If he gets better at those things, then his role will continue to increase. I know Jalen's shooting percentage is up where you would want want him to be, but you kind of want him to take more shots. Is that still the case? Yeah, I think he got started. Uh, you know, he sent me a text while we we're on the bus. Uh, you know, or on the bus right after the game, maybe 15 minutes on the road, kind of like, damn, coach, I started too late. I just think he's, you know, he's got to come out, um, I think, a little bit more ready. I think he's got to either have a better warm-up or, you know, he's got to um, just, just start faster. Um, you know, he can't, he can't wait, you know. We, we need him, you know, in, in attack mode. Uh, you know, if he's, if he's 34 minutes, 33 minutes, 37, yeah, there's too many. I think he, um, you know, he drifts a little bit too much during the course of the game. Um, and I don't think with his effort, I think like watching his defense on film has been really good, but I think he's, it's kind of his, um, he's too good of a guy. He's got to be a little more selfish. He's got to take over. Look, look to take the ball to hold a little more too? Is, it, is he been doing that enough, you think? Or? No, I think yes. that's... No, he's got to get downhill. We, 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 um, he's got to get to the foul line. Uh, you know, he's he's got to um, you know mix up. You know, he's got such an incredible gift in terms of the different finishes he has. Um, you know, but sometimes you got to take the rim with, with power stuff and, and, and try to try to get to the foul line, especially early in the game. I think that's like a great way for him to find the rhythm is to drive the front rim early, try to get to the foul line, and uh, start a game that way. Thank you.